I'm Renee Bachman at Leeds Elementary School and I'm a third grade teacher. My name is Sylvia Shred. I am in 11th grade. My name is Mary Beth O'Connor and I'm the Title I reading teacher at Ryan Road Elementary School. My name is Linda Munshine and I'm an occupational therapist at Jackson Street School in Northampton High School. Uh, I'm part of environmental science um, and for environmental science we went on a field trip to Arcadia and they taught us about how climate change is affecting here in Northampton at the Arcadia Wildlife Sanctuary um, and the uh, grant has actually now been extended so that all incoming bio students for the next three years which is around 250 kids uh, per year will be going on this field trip so not only environmental students but who are learning about this, but also bio students, which is really exciting. I was involved in the Citizen Science Salamander Count Project. My favorite part is getting the kids outdoors and having them actually count the salamanders in the forest. So um, I work with students that struggle with reading, and when they don't read over the long summer months, it can really affect where they are in the fall. And so to encourage them to keep reading, I send them packages throughout the summer with a letter and a book and a postcard so they can write back and it just keeps them reading and writing all summer long. So they get a total of six packages throughout the summer. My project was about sensory strategies to help children that are dysregulated come back into regulation. So we created a sensory room with the NEF funding, which was a great help. We also were able to purchase 15 sensory boxes, which had all kinds of tools for kids to use in the classroom to help them regulate. Um, what else did we do? Oh yes, we were able to purchase a bolster swing for the occupational therapy room. The he was able to get a little bit more training um, on sensory evaluations. The Northampton Education Foundation um, really helps support uh, students and, and certain projects um, go beyond the classroom, go beyond the basic like mi minimum standard um, of education and I think that it, it really brings our, the like quality of education up for students. Uh, it, it means to me those projects that it allows us to have extra monies to do projects that the public schools, the schools themselves can't fund. They mean accessibility for all of our children. They give teachers hope, I think. I think um, there's so many budgetary constraints in our district that um, I think it keeps teachers feeling creative and alive and passionate because you can come up with these great ideas and there's a way to fund them. And so I, I think they just keep hope alive for all of us to keep being creative.